Go feel them dangerous. Energetic. Ball, ball, ball. Passionate. Ah. And I think it's controlled chaos. You know, I, I can say screw it of what has happened before, good or bad, and then play the next play. Well, one thing we know, there's no quit in Baker. It's interesting in the Cleveland sports landscape, LeBron leaves. You come in. Did you kind of understand the importance of your role in providing some healing among the Cleveland sports fans? And the drought is over. I felt the energy. It yeah. was uh, it was an unbelievable yeah. feeling. You know, I didn't think about it in the sense of basketball is not there anymore. It was more of I believe I was brought to Cleveland to help change it. And you know, it, it's a culture thing. When it comes down to it, Cleveland's a football town. I don't care what anybody says. It's a football town. People love their Browns, and they've stuck with them through some some bad years. And so I want to do whatever I can you know, turn that around. I don't know what that feels like. I don't know what they went through. I, I don't, and I don't ever want to feel that. I'm going to do exactly what I've done my whole life, and that's find a way to win. Don't be scared. You, you will never worry about that with me. Your productivity is off the charts since the coaching change. What has Freddie Kitchens unlocked in you? Getting my eyes in the right spot. You know, we talk through the game plan, what I'm comfortable with, things throughout the week, of what I'm really looking at, you know, dissecting it on a different level of, you know, what have I done in the past? How have I done that? And then also in his experience in coaching quarterbacks and being with, you know, Drew Stanton's a guy that he had in Arizona. Thanks, Drew! And also he's got another assistant, Ryan Lindley, that they're here now. And being able to pick their brains on how Freddie's calling plays, what he wants to call, and why we're calling it. So communication, but then getting my eyes in the right spot, and then just executing. Caught it in the end zone! Touchdown! You guys are in the playoff hunt. You tied Pittsburgh in week one. You lost a tough one to New Orleans in week two. Do you think if you had started those games that the Browns would have one of the six playoff positions right now? You know what? Everybody can come up with these what-if scenarios, but I think we needed to go through struggles early on in the season. The kick is no good! Great things do not happen overnight. You know, I think if I was playing early, I think some things would be different, but I don't think we'd be where we're at right now. You know, you always heard when you were in Norman, the players love Baker. Get to Cleveland. Players love Baker. Why do your teammates love you so much? I take a bullet for them. Obviously, I'm going to do everything I can to put us in a great position to win, but I have to let them know that they can trust me no matter what the scenario is. Winning, losing, I'll be that same person that gives it 110% effort. Once the standard's apparent, then you get to know people on a different level. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to mess around with them. You get to toy with them about stuff off the field just to get guys to have fun with it again. Everybody takes it so seriously, but you got to remember you got to enjoy it.